Hi. Um, so, this is uh, lecture three on prototyping um, for um, getting ready to do the um, professional portfolio for um, a student's work. So, um, let's go back to the brief, take a look at what we've done so far. We did assignment one. We looked at sources on wireframing, including taking a, take, take a look at that lecture video. And I had you wireframe three commercial sites using wireframe CC. And, uh, you know, so what you did is you gave me a PDF uh, with the uh, screenshots and three screen, caps, capture, the screen captures of the sources. Next assignment was to make two wireframes of your portfolio site. Um, and then give me two screenshots of inspiration and, um, you know, and then the screenshots of the wireframe.cc projects that uh, you did. So this is where we're at now. We're going to make a prototype of your home page, or um, using. I'm going to have. I'm going to be uh, asking you to be using uh, Adobe XD, uh, which is great for prototyping. And so. What I want you to do is I want you to do two pages. You can do two alternate layouts of your um, of your homepage, or you can do one uh, page for your you know, one for your homepage, and then do one child page, like a gallery page or a uh, about you, and all that sort of thing. And then after we do this, over um, after next lecture, we are going to start making the portfolio for the next eh, about two weeks. Um, so you'll make a portfolio for your practice or your business and then seniors understand that you may be using this uh, in the senior exhibition. So you know this is a potentially real project. Um, use at least 10 works and um, I'll give you examples and put them online um, later today. So, question is, why do you want to make a prototype? In general, uh, in terms of web design, it's a more uh, fleshed out version of the, of the wireframe. It's something that instead of saying, okay, professor, I'm gonna, this is going to be this, this is going to be this, this is going to be this, no, you're showing me exactly what this is. You're going to say this is what the, this is what this looks like. So, um, actually, I much um, I'd love to see this part of it because then it's not a bunch of talk. It gives us an idea of the functionality. It gives us an idea of the user interface um, 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 usage. It gives us an idea of, you know, how the user journey through your website is going to work. So, what do we get out of this? Um, really, what it does is that it just, um, instead of going up on a screen and just messing around and trying to figure something out before, um, you know, as we go, what this does is this allows us to create a really concrete map of what we want to do, rather than to be making things up on 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 the fly. Um, this is there's there's kind of like this uh, this story, this metaphor, the idea of trying to build a uh, trying to build a plane while it's flying. Well, that's really kind of what you know what you're doing if you don't do this. Um, that isn't saying that. Without a pro, with a prototype, that you're not going to make changes. Of course, you are. The design paradigm, you know, the design mindset, you know, um, specifically means that while you are making something, you are refining it. But this is something that gives us a really firm grounding on which, you know, what we're going to do. So. Being that we have that, if you're in a studio, if you're doing your internship or, you know, 
something along those lines. This gets you to have the other people on your team, you know, like your, um, like a client or your art director. It allows them to have buy-in on your vision, which is always a good thing. Um, why do we do this? Well, basically, um, it just means that you are almost to the point of getting this thing working as if it would um, in um, in real life. So you're at that just that one step beforehand, and just making sure that everything's in place, making sure everybody's happy with what you're what you're doing, including yourself. In this case, since this is a portfolio, it's basically the student and the instructor, and um, so. It's just really making sure that the basic operation of the site is has been worked out. And you know, there's a question: Should I even do this? You know, um, you know, every time, unless it's something that's really basic and really straightforward, absolutely. Because what you want to do is that you want to um, understand. What you're doing, have it laid out, and be ready to make it when you go to the screen. I will tell you that I do understand that if you go to you know and go to your internship, there is going to be a lot of times where you're going to be asked to be building on the screen. I understand this. If you get the chance to be able to do sketches and prototypes, I recommend that you do it. So um, here is my wireframe of my website. Um, I've had the, I've been working on this for a while, and if you take a look over in the other uh, tutorial, you can see that it looks like I, I worked on that really fast. Well, I probably did because of the fact that I've been sorting this out for probably about a good month and a half now, and uh, it's. Um, it basically means that uh, I have a very clear idea in my mind that uh, this is what I want. And see, this is actually supporting the idea of everything we're doing here. If you wind up working, prototyping, getting something sorted out in your head, then when you're ready to hit that button, it, it, seems, to, it seems like it just happens. So, but you know you've been working on it for a couple of weeks or a couple of few weeks beforehand, and then you hit the button and it just it just goes together because guess what you've got your plans in place, and that's pretty cool. So you can see up here, I have my tagline, artist, writer, curator, my logo, my menu, my uh, hero artwork, and then um, search and cart, and down below. Um, this is something that I have some questions about. Uh, I have some blocks that talk about uh, that are supposed to be my social media links. And the one thing that there is some controversy about is whether you should have social media links on your front page or not. Um, I'm probably not going to because there was a, um, a curator that um, said that if you're trying to get someone to go down into your into your site, you don't put your social links on the front page because so they could go off on that and then, I don't know, they're on your Twitter, they're on your Instagram, whatever, and they uh, don't go any further into your website. So I think I agree with that. Don't put any social links on your front page. So, and as you can see here, go over and take a look at the ex, uh, the uh, user experience, um, I mean user experience design tutorial that I have. And I pretty much took my image, my text, and I put them together pretty pretty quickly. And it was, it was ready to go. I think just the idea is being able to have all the content that you want to work on, have it together, and then 
get it assembled, and then so you can really get an idea of what you want to make. And I think this is something that's super, super important. So this is the end of this particular uh, lecture. Uh, so what do I want for the next, um, you know, by the next class? Um, let's see here. I want you to create at least one fully mocked up prototype of your homepage. And then you can either do an alternate version of it or, and by the way, if you do an alternate version, make sure that it's really, um, you know, that it, it's different, just maybe, you know, not, not just change some colors. Um, and then the other hand is that if you want to do something that isn't your home page, do a child page. Do like your bio page or do your um, first gallery page or do your contact page. Something along those lines. So that's that. And then, um, so go do that, and I'll be looking forward to seeing your prototypes. Thank you so much, and we will see you in the next tutorial.